man-made mountain that erupts on cue. Strange and exotic lands. Ancient civilizations brought back to life. You're looking at the most ambitious new theme park in the world. Disney Sea, Tokyo. The best kept secret in the Far East until now. In a world exclusive, Travel Channel's cameras are the first to be given full access to Disney's only water-based theme park. It's a front row ticket on a multi-billion dollar adventure. It's a journey across continents and across time. We'll travel across seas and beneath them too. It all takes place in one mega theme park. And on this journey, nothing is as it seems. Disney once said, Disneyland will never be complete as long as there is imagination left in the world. The idea for a water-based Disney theme park was first imagined 10 years ago. We decided to build Tokyo Disney Sea because Tokyo Disneyland has done so well over the years. It's been open 18 years and it's been very successful. Attendance keeps ramping up. The demand now is greater than one, the one park would it hold. And so for some years, we've been trying to decide what should that second theme park be, and we ended up deciding on this one. Jim Cora knew Walt Disney. Back then, the idea of having two Disney theme parks in the same city would have stretched even Walt's imagination. Well, it's a huge difference between what we did in 1955 with the first park and, and what we've done here. For starters, Disney Sea Tokyo was a $3.3 billion joint venture between Disney and the Oriental Land Company. Two very different cultures would have to work closely together to pull this off. In 1998, Disney chairman Michael Eisner flew to Tokyo for the groundbreaking ceremony. The Japanese revere their ancient traditions and this was one of them. It is a pleasure to be back in Japan. I'd like to thank Kagami-san for inviting me to Tokyo Disney Sea groundbreaking. Disney is very excited about the new Tokyo Disney Sea theme park project. If there's one thing Japan and the United States are good at, it's building big things. Formalities over, construction commenced. Before long, an entire mini-city started to appear on the shores of Tokyo Bay. When you consider design, it took us about four years, and construction took us about three and a half, so it's seven and a half to eight years to do something as complicated as this park. This theme park is probably the most complicated of any of the Disney parks. In fact, any theme park in the world, I would venture to say, because of the extraordinary detail that we put in this park. So it was a huge effort. It took thousands and thousands of people, designers, uh, engineers, construction uh, uh, people from both Japan and the American side. Then on September 4, 2001, Disney Sea Tokyo opened its gates for the first time. The Japanese public was introduced to seven separate water-themed worlds. Mediterranean Harbor, American Waterfront, Port Discovery, Lost River Delta, Arabian Coast, Mysterious Island, and Mermaid Lagoon. All these theme ports of call are linked by a man-made sea, the largest treated body of water at any Disney park. 40 million gallons stretching over 25 acres. But there's more to this little sea than meets the eye. The secret is you could actually walk across it. The water is only waist deep. You can't see what lies beneath because the sea is dyed brown.
When Disney recruited staff to operate and maintain the theme park, they weren't just looking for people who could serve popcorn, sell tickets, give directions, or pick up trash. They were looking for people who could perform in those jobs. It's not just a company line. Take this guy, for example. He's a street sweeper with a special talent. Want to see it again? <laughs> it's the same everywhere you look at Disney Sea Tokyo. As soon as a visitor steps through those gates, they're on stage. And everyone is part of the act. Well, it comes back to our show business terms. We feel that all of our parks and our hotels are shows. They're three-dimensional shows. And that means that all our employees are actually cast members in the role in this particular show. The opening of the park has boosted local employment enormously. There are now 20,000 people working at the two Disney parks and hotels. But not one of them is referred to as an employee. They're all cast members. We actually cast them in a particular role. And uh, as we um, actually talk to our applicants, we explain that part to them, that you are going to be in this particular role. Some of those applicants may feel more comfortable on stage, for example, dealing with the guests. Others would be more comfortable backstage. So we take that into consideration as we make the hiring decision. There was one problem. While the Japanese are renowned for their diligence, the secret is they also tend to be very shy. Here in Japan, uh, positively, in a good way, they are very service-oriented. The challenge, though, is to getting them to be a little more relaxed, a little more engaging to guests, not so polite to the guests, but, but more friendly and more open and smile more often and, and interact with our guests. And that was more of a challenge here. Friendly, but not too polite. Try translating that into another language. Soon we'll take you behind the scenes where Disney meets Broadway. But up next, we'll blow the lid off the secrets of a man-made mountain. Tomorrow, we're going behind the scenes of Disney's Animal Kingdom. How do you combine wild rides with wildlife? Find out on an all-new Travel Channel Secrets. Disney's Animal Kingdom, tomorrow at 9 on the Travel Channel. If you like your world's best totally tubular, grab your suit and hit the chutes, because the Travel Channel's got the nation's top 10 water slides. Caution, slippery when wet. World's best, America's best water parks. Wednesday at 9 on the Travel Channel. It's a beautiful morning. Ask your doctor about Biox, a prescription medicine from Merck. And find out if Biox is right for you. Biox. The new Land Rover Freelander with 0% APR financing, 24 valve V6 engine, 5 speed automatic transmission featuring command shift, 8 speaker in dash CD stereo, permanent all wheel drive, 4 channel all terrain anti lock brakes. With this many standard features, you could go to the ends of the earth and not find a better offer. How do we know? We've been there. Land Rover, the most well-traveled vehicles on Earth. Take a Freelander with you now with 0% APR financing. Hello? Hi, Mr. Johnson. I wanted to tell you that you've won two tickets to the Kentucky Derby, two tickets to the Super Bowl, two tickets to the Tony Awards, two tickets to the 2004 Olympic Games, and two tickets to the Daytona 500. Mr. Johnson, are you there? Use your Visa card from August to October and you are automatically entered to win two tickets plus expenses to these five events. Take a deep breath, Mr. Johnson. I'm here for you. Wow. I have to call Mother. You should see this place, Mom. So luxurious. Doug must have paid 500 a night. My wife thinks I spent a fortune on this honeymoon, but I got the room for $99 on Hotels.com. Great deal. Two clicks, and I had a room. Save on thousands of hotels worldwide. Hotels.com. The best prices at the best places. Guaranteed. Stand on the edge of the Grand Canyon to view its beauty. But to go inside, 
Watch the Travel Channel. See what your camera won't capture. Learn why mules, not horses, are used for tracks. Uncover the mystery that hides in the rapids. And find out why the most popular way to see the canyon is the most dangerous. American Icons, the Grand Canyon. Saturday at 9, only on the Travel Channel. A proud partner of America's National Parks. And now, more Travel Channel secrets. Disney Sea, the world's first water-based Disney park, has changed the landscape of Tokyo Bay. This towering inferno is Mount Prometheus. Once a legend on Jules Verne's mysterious island and 20,000 leagues under the sea, it is now very much alive and active. If you were thinking this is all achieved with chicken wire and plaster of Paris, listen to this. The secret is you're looking at the largest man-made rock structure ever built by Disney. We're talking about rock, 750,000 square feet of it. More than 2,000 pieces of rubble piled 160 feet high. And under the hood, there's a lot of firepower. Inside that volcano are 10 rocket burners weighing about 3,000 pounds each. That's what it takes to shoot flames 50 feet into the air. The bursts of gas escaping from Mount Prometheus are actually bursts of water about 30,000 gallons of it. At the base of the mountain is the famous Nautilus, Captain Nemo's submarine for exploring the depths of the world's oceans. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea was a science fiction novel in 1870 and a Disney movie in 1954. Now, in a new millennium, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea has taken on a new dimension. If you prefer terra firma, there's the journey to the center of the Earth, a ride lit up by more than 50,000 crystals. It actually burrows right through the volcano, then crashes to the surface at 70 feet per bone-shuddering second. Another timeless land of magic and adventure is the Arabian coast. This is the home of Aladdin and of Sinbad the Sailor. The Magic Lamp Theater is the first Disney show to mix live theater with a 3D film. But the big secret is Sinbad's seven voyages a groundbreaking ride that features more than 160 animatronic characters. That's more than any single Disney attraction in the world. Nothing is done by halves here. In fact, the carousel is done by double, one on top of the other. Another Disney first. <laughs> Believe it or not, even the family pet does not miss out on a day at Disney Sea. This is the Pet Club, a babysitting center for Fluffy here. costs about $30 for the day, but that includes meals, naturally. The Japanese have kept pet dogs for thousands of years. And here's something else you may not know. In Japan, 
a day at a theme park is an occasion to dress up for. This crowd is a far cry from the t-shirt and sandal armies of the West. One of the things that we've found is that the Japanese audience is very uh, fastidious. They come very well dressed to the theme park, a lot of them in uh, silk shirts and ties. Uh, even though it's a resort, they like to dress up when they go out, and therefore a lot of the environmental effects that we do in the States, like splashing the audience with water and smoke and steam, um, you know, doesn't go over very well here because they don't like to get wet. Of course, their love of photography is renowned. If it's not recorded on film or video, it may as well have never happened. that a day out at a theme park is not just about sightseeing, it's also about being seen. And some of the fashions have to be seen to be believed. the latest wear-out accessory. Sometimes it's hard to tell the cast from the audience. Next, the romance capital of the world comes to Disney Sea. Does your summer need a thrill? The Travel Channel's gonna rock and roll your world with Coaster Rush Week. Meet the mad scientists who design these spine-tingling wonders. Check out our countdown of the top 10 ultimate coaster rides. We're plunging, twisting, soaring around the globe on the wildest white-knuckle machines. Coaster Rush Week continues next, only on the Travel Channel. Where you headed, son? Memphis, home of Elvis. Keep... I get out here. Well, don't get out here. You gotta see uh, Beale Street. Home of the blues. Mm. The Mississippi River. And Uncle Junior's Cafe Stand. Let's see. Introducing Lay's newest taste of America, Memphis barbecue potato chips. No one can eat just one. I know you point that thing, then take two. Hey, look at this, Elvis. Hello, Elvis. Hi, hi, hi. Mm -hmm. Favorable. Having an outcome that is in one's best interest. The 2002 Honda Clearance. The once-a-year opportunity for special savings on all available Accords. The odds are definitely in your favor. The 2002 Honda Clearance. Lucky you. It's a beautiful morning. I don't want to go jogging. I don't want to play hockey. All I want are nights with less pain, mornings with less stiffness, so Bo and I can go out early and catch up with all our friends. Ask your doctor about ways to help relieve the pain of osteoarthritis. Call 1-888-MERC-55 for more information. I'm Mario Perillo, Mr. Italy for Perillo Tours. You know, the best time to explore Venice, Florence, Rome, and Sorrento is November to April. The weather's fine and it's bargain time. And the biggest bargain are elegant eight-day Roman holidays. Starting at $9.99 from New York, including air. And now Perillo offers the same low price from cities all over the U.S. Only $9.99, even from L.A. For a free Perillo brochure, see your travel agent or call 1-800-631-1000 now. IBM NetVista. Real people, not actors. Excuse me. Come on, I want to show you some computers. This is the NetVista. 
beautiful design. This monitor is gorgeous. So what is this about? I have too many people looking at me. I can see that on my desk. Have you ever lost any data? Hasn't everybody lost data at some point? All these computers can use Rapid Restore, which is a one-touch button that lets you go back to the last time the computer saved. I lost my computer to virus. That's not a very good thing. What about security? In this day and age, security is just is, 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 it's a big issue. Well, IBM offers a range of security options if you're worried about hackers online. That would be fantastic. I just can't afford it, probably. Actually, NetVista desktop started just $699. This one can use Rapid Restore PC and has an Intel Pentium 4 processor providing advanced technology for business. Call for your Intel Pentium 4 processor-powered desktop and ask about volume discounts. The more you buy, the more you can save. And would you know how to buy an IBM? Probably go online. Can I have one? Travel Channel Secrets. Don't tell the kids, but the biggest secret about Disney Sea Tokyo is that it's really designed for adults. This is the latest in the evolution of the theme park. A day at the park used to just be about cute characters, fun rides, and fast food. Great for the kids, but hard work for the parents. But with Disney Sea, there's no age limit on escapism. And it all starts with Mediterranean Harbor. We wanted the Italian theme at the entrance. Um, and and uh, the Japanese visitor, when they come to our parks, really feel they're not in Japan anymore, and it's got to be an escape. Mediterranean Harbor is a living replica of Portofino Harbor in Italy. The same size, the same shape. The illusion is almost perfect. This is the Disney Sea fishing village of Porto Paradiso. The buildings are a near mirror image of some of Italy's most famous establishments. This one, for example, is a replica of the fish market on the Grand Canal in Venice. It's important to put as much authenticity into the detail as we possibly could. Even the trees have been cut to resemble the trees you'd find in the real Portofino. But here's a secret. Those trees are really Japanese oak. No need to shut your eyes and imagine you're in Italy. Just look around. It's everywhere. Italian artisans worked with us very carefully. We chose very various regions in Italy. Uh, in which to portray here in the park. The gondolas glide along the Palazzo canals using manpower, of course. That guy with the pole is not just there for show. In fact, this is the only ride at any Disney park that doesn't run on machines or computers. <laughs> The passengers don't realize it, but these gondoliers are actually in competition with each other. You see, each of these characters has his own comic routine. And the honors go to the gondolier who can get the most laughs from their captive audience. But the jewel in this Italian crown is the Mira Costa, a world-class hotel that's actually been built on the grounds of Disney Sea. It's a 502-room hotel built in a five-story building, which is actually part of the park, Tokyo Disney Sea Park. So you can enter the park um, from the hotel. So the main entrance is to the outside, and then there's another uh, entrance to the park. The reason for the hotel is for people who would like to spend the night in a Tokyo Disney theme park uh, so they don't have to go home and spoil the dream at the end of the day. This isn't just a slice of Italy, it's the whole pizza. From the hotel, a guest can view different regions. 
From here, it's a view of Florence with the famous Ponte Vecchio. In a word, the Miracosta is opulent. A single corridor stretches for a mile. The marble for the floor could only be found in China. The chandeliers, handmade in Venice. There are more than 20,000 pieces of glassware and twice as much silverware. We had people roaming Europe to pick up art uh, objects and um, furniture was sourced from abroad to make sure that every single piece and every single fabric, which is all designed for the hotel, every piece of wall covering and every piece of uh, carpeting was absolutely authentic. And then you get to the paintings. These are not copies. There are more than 2,000 original works of art at the hotel, framed by hand and gilded by Italian artists. And there's a secret hidden in the paintings themselves. Look closely. Now look closer still. This is a gallery like no other in the world. We tell all the children that there are hidden Mickeys in each of the murals. And, and to see the kids, you know, if we have to ask them to wait a little bit while they check in, they're happy because they're just looking at those uh, murals just to find the hidden Mickeys. An Italian hotel within an American theme park within a Japanese city. It's a unique concept. And the Miracosta offers one service in particular which has captured more than just the imagination of its visitors. One service that we're offering in this hotel that hasn't been in, done in Japan before is that we give the guests the option to actually go into Tokyo Disney Sea to enter a Disney theme park as part of their wedding ceremony. So what we do is we take them out of the chapel, which is in the hotel, into the park, walk through the Mediterranean Harbor to the Venice area, and put them on a gondola, which has been decorated in the wedding style, and they sip champagne as they get serenaded and taken in the gondola ride around the uh, Venice area. This has been a lot of enthusiastic response to that. The hotel can hold up to 30 weddings a week. It might not be to everyone's tastes, but a fancy dress wedding in the presence of Disney characters followed by a Mediterranean-styled honeymoon, well, that's one-stop shopping at its Japanese best. After the break, we're off to Broadway, Disney style. Tired of Osborne's repeats this summer? Well, we've got a show you've never seen before. How the f*** did this happen? Now, in a Travel Channel exclusive, see what Ozzy's family was like before their hit TV show. It's the only place to see Jack and Kelly as little kids and meet the other daughter. Don't miss the hottest heavy metal household on TV. When you Fame and fortune. Ozzy Osborne. Tuesday, August 27th at 10, only on the Travel Channel. Beautiful morning. Ask your doctor about Viox, a prescription medicine from Merck. And find out if Viox is right for you. Viox. It took us a while to get used to Peppy's enthusiasm. He's a good dog. Except for one thing. Luckily, we've got the new Bissell Little Green. It's got the suction power of a full-size machine. And it goes anywhere there's a mess. We're all pretty excited about it. Some more than others. Bissell, we mean clean. The vet said he'd only be like this for the first seven years.
Scotchman. Post-it notes, tape scotch, and masks. Glue set. Binders, highlighters, paper punch, three holes. Batteries, triple A's, D's, double A's. With Staples 365 Savings, your kids will get all the school supplies they want at the great low prices you want. And now you can bind your homework or file it, maybe even laminate it, which will give you much more time to study, which will lead to straight A's. A folder for each subject would be nice, and on Saturdays, we can collate. Staples has great low prices on all your back-to-school supplies. Wow. I have to call Mother. You should see this place, Mom. So luxurious. Doug must have paid 500 a night. My wife thinks I spent a fortune on this honeymoon, but I got the room for $99 on Hotels.com. Great deal. Two clicks, and I had a room. Save on thousands of hotels worldwide. Hotels.com. The best prices at the best places. Guaranteed. Hey, brother. They're doing it again. Oh, okay. You want to take that, huh? Be a man. Stand up for yourself, all right? You got to step up to the plate. Break it out, man. It's time. The competition is just beginning. The new season of Junkyard War starts Wednesday, August 28th on TLC. Big clean up in the cafeteria. Hi, I'm Kim Pope with an easy way to clean and freshen your dry clean only and special care clothes right at home. It's dry -El. Watch dry -El work its magic on the smoke-covered sequin dress. The sweater engulfed in greasy food odors. And this makeup stain cashmere top. Remove stains with dry -El stain remover. Then load the bag with a dry -El cloth and zip it. Put it in the dryer to steam it. The moist cleansing cloth creates a gentle, steam-cleaning environment inside the bag so it works without damaging chemicals or shrinking and fading. Then take the clothing and hang it. See? They're fresh, clean, and beautiful as ever. Order the dry L sample kit, and you can clean and freshen up to 12 garments for only $6.95, or about 60 cents a garment. Use dry L for wool pants, cotton sweaters, even cashmere. Dry L is available in stores, or order the Dry L sample kit for up to 12 garments for only $6.95. Try today. If you like your world's best totally tubular, grab your suit and hit the chutes. Because the Travel Channel's got the nation's top 10 water slides. Caution, slippery when wet. Then, hit the Vegas Strip and make some waves. The Travel Channel's counting down the ultimate ways to beat the desert heat. It's wet and wild, Sin City style. World's best, America's best water parks. And cooling off in Vegas, Wednesday starting at 9 on the Travel Channel. And now, more Travel Channel secrets. Disney Sea Tokyo features some of the most exciting and technically sophisticated rides in the world. But of all the attractions at Disney Sea, the most popular one may well be at the end of this line. The wait is never less than an hour, and sometimes more than two. But for every person in this line, the waiting merely builds up the anticipation of this. This is the only place in Japan where you can buy a giant gyoza, a Chinese fast food delicacy. Our Japanese guests like Chinese food. Uh, gyoza is a very popular item, and so the chefs developed a what we call the gyoza sausage, and it became so popular from the media and people talking about it, that now that cart averages about an hour and 20 minutes wait every day. We sell about 3,500 of them a day, and it's just phenomenal. Here's the thing, and this may be a purely Japanese thing, but the line could easily be halved if they simply added a second gyoza cart. They don't because this one food cart has taken on celebrity status and waiting in line is half the fun. That's the theory anyway. I think that's captured the popularity with the audience and they just stand in line forever to have one. In China, this is fast food. In Japan, it's more like gyoza gridlock. 
With upwards of 50,000 people to feed each day, Disney Sea's head chef has one of the most high-pressure jobs at the park. Behind the scenes, this is where the action is. can give you our highest attendance data we had so far, and we've served about 95,000 meals. Some of the biggest challenges that we've had is trying to please the Japanese guests with a, a Western-style product. And that's not easy in a country which is very set in its culinary ways. And you know, you're in, in Japan, uh, and take into consideration that 98% of the guests here, the demographics are Japanese. You know, really had to educate myself to, you know, the tastes and likes of Japanese. So I did a lot of restaurant research and stuff here just to, you know, to understand what their, what their palates were. Rule number one, serve everything with rice. It's a cultural cliche, but it's true. Everything evolves around rice, so consequently, you know, the portions of meat and, and uh, vegetables are, are much, much smaller. Portions here are, are probably like for meat or chicken, fish, you know, at least probably uh, two-thirds uh, smaller than, you know, in the States. You know, it's American, if you, if you serve them, a, you know, a steak that, they would say, you know, where's the steak? You know, this is a mistake. But a lot of foods here are based on Japanese cuisine. More uh, rice is the main component of the meal, and everything else is kind of to uh, eat with, with the rice. So whether it's the meats or the vegetables, they're much, much smaller portions. Getting the balance right between what the Americans wanted to offer and what the Japanese could stomach was not easy. It was a cross-cultural culinary clash, and Edwin Ronsky admits there was some argument. Though we didn't always agree, but we always had the, you know, the guests in mind and to deliver you know, a, a unique experience, food experience, just to match up with the magnitude of the park. So we, that, that was our focus. So uh, from that standpoint, it was really you know, it was challenging, but uh, we spoke the common language when it came to, to food. And here's something you may not know. The Japanese are almost obsessive when it comes to hygiene. These are some of the cleanest kitchens in the world. But one experiment that has proven to be an unparalleled success is located at Port Discovery. They call this Aquatopia, ordered chaos on water. Now have a closer look at this ride. No tram lines overhead. And there's nothing under the water to guide these twirling dervishes either. The secret to this ride is invisible. Each of the watercraft is guided by laser. Nothing to it. It was William Shakespeare who said, all the world's a stage. At Disney Sea Tokyo, the whole world literally is a stage. There are performers everywhere. We invigorate and enliven the architecture itself around the park by having atmosphere performers that are very indigenous to each of the areas around the park. So we populate it with performers. And it's a truly international ensemble. These street performers come from America, Canada, Russia, the Middle East, and, of course, Japan. The park is populated by more than 200 performers recruited from all points of the globe. For those of you who did not know what he said, he said, I am the mayor of Porto Paradiso here in Mediterranean Harbor. Show everybody bye-bye. Eh? Very good. Very few of these overseas performers speak any Japanese. But there's a secret to keeping this crowd happy.
physical humor works almost internationally um, you can't be dialogue dependent on your humor it almost has to be slapstick you keep it physical and everybody loves it The staff at Disney Sea Tokyo don't wear uniforms, they wear costumes. It's in keeping with the Disney spirit. You're not an employee, you're in the cast. costuming area here is one of the largest and busiest in the world. Every day from this issue window, 10,000 people receive clothing to go into the park and work. So it's a huge amount. In order to dress 10,000 people, there's actually about 300,000 costume pieces in this room to cover all of those needs. 300,000 pieces. That's enough to clothe a city. And the range of costumes is staggering. All manner of being is clothed here. We do a lot of research, quite thoroughly. We want to be as accurate as possible. We want it to have as much the feeling of that environment as if you were really traveling in that time and place. With so many shows running all day, every day, behind the scenes, the costumers literally work around the clock. been regarded as the theater capital of the United States, if not the world. There are about 35 theaters on Broadway, but this is not one of them. Disney Sea Tokyo has its own Broadway-style theater that's even bigger and better than the real thing. Well, it's much better than a Broadway theater. You have to realize a lot of the old classic Broadway theaters were built in the 20s and 30s, and they're great classic old houses. But this is fashioned after a classic Broadway theater, but with all the new technology built in. Disney Sea's Broadway Music Theater seats 1,500, and the show is a song and dance tribute to the 20th century's most popular Broadway hits. Good. Let's take them in the top. Make it crisp and clean. Where's my spot? Not on me, on One, her. two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Oh, the audience is totally different, you know? I'm sure they're not used to a show like this. It's definitely an American-style show. And, you know, during the show, they, you know, they're attentive. They're sitting with their hands crossed. They're, you know, not a bad audience, but maybe not the loudest, like in the United States. The people are a little louder, but by the end of the show, same as in the United States, you know, they love it. These are the hardest working performers at the park. They do five shows a day, and every show borrows from a total of 21 Broadway hits. Everybody here works really, really hard. Like, the Japanese are really, really hard workers, and, I don't know, they rub off on us, <laughs> make us work harder, and, I don't know, we all mesh really well. It's been a pretty positive experience so far. Like, Hello, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm warm up. <laughs> Disney is venturing into new territory with a show like this. No Goofy, no Mickey, and nothing from the archive of Disney movies. It was a multi-million dollar risk. Well, the, the Japanese audience is a, a different... You're playing to a different group of people who've grown up 
with a different perspective than we've had from the western perspective so we have to understand that we have to know what they know and what they don't know the show at the broadway theater for example there's a lot of songs and tunes in there that we've heard a thousand times and gosh do we have to do that again well guess what over here it's totally different they haven't heard it a million times it's still uh, wonderful to them and so we do all those classic songs well originally we've been told that um to expect like maybe it would be a little bit more subtle like their response like they would still appreciate just as much as an american uh what we were doing it's just they'd be a little bit more subtle about it but I mean, surprisingly enough, like a lot of them, hands up in the air like this, you know, like getting really excited. So um, it's been nice. While many in this audience will never have the opportunity of seeing a real live Broadway show on Broadway, this is quite authentic. Although one or two allowances had to be made for the Japanese. Other things that we've discovered is that they like to be prepared for any large explosions or special effects. So in the announcements up front, we explain to them uh, those type of effects so that they're not surprised when they happen. As for the theater itself, it's state of the art. Million dollar lighting rig, million dollar sound system. Even the fixtures are world class. See how the lobby floor looks like it's paved in marble? That's because it is. Uh, we accomplished what we set out to, and that's to transport this audience to a different place. The golden era of Broadway began early in the 20th century. In those days, downtown Manhattan might have looked something like this. This is Disney Sea's American waterfront. The year is 1910. Only one family in 200 owned a car in those days. A thrill ride in an automobile like this was a Sunday event not to be missed. Overhead, the trolley train ferries people to and from the docks. These are exciting times, recaptured in every detail, a century later and half a world away. The American waterfront at the turn of the century in the United States uh, is very detailed oriented, the graphics, uh, the theming, uh, lots of research, and we think we captured most of it. The American waterfront portrays a time and place when Walt Disney was just a little boy with a big imagination. It represents the harbors of cosmopolitan New York and the more genteel Cape Cod early in the 20th century. In those days, of course, you could only travel abroad by sea and only the very rich could afford it. SS Columbia is about to set off on her maiden transatlantic voyage. It's all just for show, of course. The SS Columbia is permanently moored here. But here's a little secret. This magnificent luxury multi-story ocean liner is fake. It is probably the world's largest model ship created by some of Asia's finest shipbuilders. There was once a real SS Columbia. In the late 1800s, it brought thousands of European migrants to New York. Who knows? Perhaps there was a Disney on one of those passenger lists. Next, we'll unveil the underwater ballet where no one gets wet. Stand by for The Little Mermaid. Does your summer need a thrill? The Travel Channel's gonna rock and roll your world with Coaster Rush Week. <laughs> Meet the mad scientists who design these spine-tingling wonders. Check out our countdown of the top 10 ultimate coaster rides. We're plunging, twisting, soaring around the globe on the wildest white-knuckle machines. Coaster Rush Week continues next, only on the Travel Channel. The new Land Rover Freelander with 0% APR financing, 24-valve V6 engine, 
5-speed automatic transmission featuring command shift, 8-speaker in-dash CD stereo, permanent all-wheel drive, 4-channel all-terrain anti-lock brakes. With this many standard features, you could go to the ends of the earth and not find a better offer. How do we know? We've been there. Land Rover, the most well-traveled vehicles on earth. Take a Freelander with you now with 0% APR financing. Starting a small business takes a burning entrepreneurial spirit, a singular bold vision, the courage to fight an endless uphill battle. But that's not all you need. Oh, no. We need some furniture. Not to mention the tools to manage your cash flow. That's why you need the Visa Business Card, because Jewel Seltzer Furniture, like many other places, doesn't accept any card from American Express. I love these chairs. Visa Business, it's everywhere you want to be. Get started at Visa.com. Hey, bro, but you can't eat just one. I reject your wager. This amigo lives by his own code. Now, what would happen if I indulged in another? You see? No eclipse of the sun, no interplanetary realignment, no harmonic convergence. Introducing Lay's newest taste of America, California Cool Dill Potato Chips. No one can eat just one. Perhaps I spoke too soon. Whoa. If you hate cords tripping you up, you'll love the Conair Cord Keepers. Zip, zoom, and Conair solves the dangling cord problem. Cord Keepers, the ones to wind up with. Folding travel or convenient midsize from Conair. Your pet's same exact heartworm and flea medications delivered to your home, saving you time and money. 1-888-PETMEDS. We deliver savings and convenience on HeartGuard, Advantage, Frontline, and all other pet medications. Call to order now or order online. I can't believe I waited so long to ask my doctor. It was just a couple of toenails, except they were all sick like and yellow. I tried treating it myself from the outside. Nothing worked. So finally, I just asked him. You know what he told me? It's an infection. An infection? One that lives deep inside and under the nail. He told me about Lamisil tablets. It's a prescription medicine that treats it deep in there where the infection lives. Not just on the surface. Nails it from the inside out. And it's the number one prescription for this infection. After three months of treatment, I saw clear nails starting to grow. I saved $5 just by calling for this free kit. Lamisil isn't for people with liver or kidney problems. Rarely serious side effects on the liver or serious skin reactions have occurred. So your doctor may do blood tests. Other side effects, including headache, diarrhea, indigestion, and rash, were generally mild. Hey, you can't treat this yourself from the outside. You gotta see the doctor and ask him if Lamisil tablets are right for you. Lamisil tablets. Call now for your free kit and $5 savings. In 1999, he took you behind the scenes with the Taliban. Now, adventurer Robert Young Felton returns to Afghanistan for a Travel Channel exclusive. From the front lines of the war on terror to a crowded Taliban prison. To the first interview with John Walker Lind. Can you tell us if you have family in America? World's Most Dangerous Places Inside Afghanistan. Premieres Sunday night at 9, only on the Travel Channel. And now, more Travel Channel secrets. Disney's first ever water-based theme park would not be complete without this little character. The Little Mermaid holds a special place in Disney history. Made in 1989, it was the last animated Disney feature painted entirely by hand. It's an enduring classic, brought back to life at Disney Sea Tokyo. This is Mermaid Lagoon. Constructing a human-friendly undersea world was one of the biggest creative challenges of Disney Sea Tokyo. It's big enough to fit Dodger Stadium's baseball field and it is full of secrets awaiting discovery. The main event is the Under the Sea live musical. 
Disney had never attempted something like this before. The secret is, no one else had either. It's a one-of-a-kind experience, never been done before. We actually had to invent the flying system that makes the audience appear that they're watching the show from under the sea. The entire performance takes place above the stage, a cross between puppet show, trapeze act, and deep sea fantasy. Just outside, it's standing room only. Unless you can find a pair of shoulders handy enough to sit on. And the occasion is an extravagant twist on Disneyland's traditional parade of characters. It's a parade of characters on water. Paradiso Water Carnival is staged with all the pomp and ceremony of an annual regatta. Only this happens every day. You may recognize the characters, but don't try to follow the plot. This is pure spectacle. Mickey Mouse is, of course, the bilingual master of ceremonies. more than 200 others in the support cast. Into the night and Mickey's whipped up a quick costume change. Now he's the sorcerer's apprentice for the Disney Sea Symphony, a tribute to Walt's 1940 classic, Fantasia. at Disney Sea Tokyo. It's just a continuation of Japan's fascination with all things Disney. They love Disney. They've always had a love affair with Disney. This is a great escape, not only for the Japanese audiences, but for anybody. It's getting away from the real world and the troubles of the real world. In fact, I, I like to think that this is real and outside is fantasy. Legend has it that Walt Disney had a secret apartment overlooking the main street of the first Disneyland. From his room, he loved to keep watch over the thousands of families who came to visit. It was Walt's way of seeing firsthand what worked and what didn't. In Tokyo, the new custodian of Disney is the Oriental Land Company. The rumor is that there's a secret apartment hidden in one of these buildings. A place where Japanese executives and Imagineers can continue the Walt Disney tradition. Secret or legend? Let your imagination decide. I think Walt would be absolutely amazed at how far we've come. Plans have already been drawn up for the next chapters in the Disney storybook. Later this year, Disneyland Paris will have a sister theme park, Walt Disney Studios. Then, in 2006, Hong Kong will join the global Disney family. So just imagine what they'll dream up next.
Hi, Christopher Knight, a.k.a. Peter Brady for the Travel Channel. You may recognize this as the Brady Bunch House, the classic all-American home. But how many houses do you know of that were designed without a toilet and with a plastic lawn? Mike Brady, great architect. And that's just one secret. The Travel Channel's got the real locations of all your favorite TV shows. From Fantasy Island to... It's like to go into orbit. V2 at Six Flags Marine World is the way to get there. Coaster after California coaster, newer, more insane ways of riding on the cutting edge will continue to challenge designers, theme parks, and the most hard-to-please coaster fans. The future is big and bright. It's already been announced by Arrow that um, they'll be introducing a 700-foot coaster slash freefall ride. So, I mean, you know, where do you go from there? A 700-foot roller coaster? That's 100 feet taller than the Seattle Space Needle. Coaster designers are only limited by their imaginations. I think the future of roller coasters is taking away more of your security, taking away the security of having a place to put your feet, taking away the security of having a place to hold on, taking away the security of knowing which way up and down is. There are many manufacturers, I think, who have totally different ideas of where coasters are going to go in the future, and that's, that's really the beauty of it, and that'll you know, give everybody the greatest chance to do different rides experience different things. You want something fast. You want something crazy. So let your imagination run wild, because almost anything you can think of is right here, right now. They're designs of excitement. They're designs of madness. California roller coasters. Designs of terror. Hi, Christopher Knight, a.k.a. Peter Brady for the Travel Channel. You may recognize this as the Brady Bunch House, the classic all-American home. But how many houses do you know of that were designed without a toilet and with a plastic lawn? Mike Brady, great architect. And that's just one secret. The Travel Channel's got the real locations of all your favorite TV shows. From Fantasy Island to Three's Company, host John Ritter is taking you on a TV road trip. Sunday, September 1st at 9, only on the Travel Channel.